course I'm gonna buy one of these. Of course I am. If you couldn't tell, I, I kind of really like snakes. Can, can you see that? Can you see that? That's my mascot. My mascot is a snake. They're legitimately some of my favorite animals. So when Nerf makes a blaster that looks like this, of course I'm gonna buy it. There's no doubt about that. This is not gonna be a conventional review because this is not a review. This is an unboxing is in first impressions video. I haven't done one of these in a long time since the warden. How's this one gonna fare? I don't know, let's find out. We're doing this first hand. Get the big boy knife out. I actually wanna, I actually wanna see what this looks like on camera. Because I don't know what it looks like. I've never seen one of these in person. So, if it will actually open. Oh wow! It's uh, bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So here it is. We open it and everything is being held in by cardboard. Oh, except this. Except this, I got the magazine. That's actually a pretty cool looking magazine. I'm gonna save this for later. Ugh, good grief. We've got the, I don't like to shoot straight darts. Here they are. And there's a code for Roblox. I, I don't play Roblox, but I'm, I'm gonna, I might actually look at that after this. Um, and this blaster, uh, hang on, this is gonna be a pain to get out. Alrighty, so we've got it out. There's a piece of tape stuck to my finger. Get off of my finger, please. Thank you. So we've got uh, this thing. There's a big, nasty looking mark right on the top of the scope. That is definitely worth noting. This is, this grip is adorable. <laughs> I actually like the grip. The grip isn't too uncomfortable. And we've got the barrel. Here's the part that I came for. Look at that. Look at that. It's got a square lining on the inside. That's a new one. I've never seen a square lining on a barrel, and of course it won't work unless you put the barrel in, so we put that in. And uh, that's a Nerf Blaster. It's actually not very big, it's actually really hilariously small. It's definitely the smallest Nerf sniper rifle I've seen, and it's super light. Although not in a bad way, it feels very solid. The plastic quality is on point, it feels thick, well at least... Not right back here. It feels very empty back there, but this whole midsection and the barrel all feel really great. And this this is the worst bipod I've ever seen. <laughs> That's awful. Oh no, there's no thought put into this at all. That's a terrible bipod. Okay, I'm probably just gonna cut that off whenever I open this. Cause yes, I do plan on opening this. Um, oh yeah, this is a bolt action blaster. So it takes a... A bolt action. Here's the bolt. It's that kind that nobody likes where when it goes in, it's never gonna come out again. And uh, here is the, uh, here's the virtual item. I'm gonna put that down there. I might show that on screen. No, I'm not. I'm actually gonna wanna use it. Here are the I don't like to shoot straight darts, which have a very snazzy paint job. Kinda looks like blue raspberry. Interesting. And uh, the bolt. I'm just gonna put one in because I want to be able to open this. Can I take it out? No. Okay, so, uh, bolt action is smooth. It sounds confident. So you open this, you shove your magazine in, close it. Does that have slam fire? No, it does not. That's funny, the Fortnite BASRL has slam fire. In fact, that's probably the best blaster to compare this to. Let me go get that one. So we have this one, and we've got the Fortnite BASRL as comparison. Uh, yeah. Stock to stock. It's tiny! <laughs> it's so small! It looks so cute! Like, as a Nerf blaster, I picture a Nerf sniper rifle with a pretty big box. I mean, this box takes itself pretty seriously. It's got, like, I mean, I personally really like the Roblox box design that they've got going on here, but it is a pretty big box. Uh, the blaster could almost fit in the box fully assembled. It is a, uh, it's a small sniper rifle. I, you know what? I'm gonna judge this thing after I fired it. So let's cut to the firing test. So we're doing this the same way we did the warden. I'm just gonna be shooting these darts down the stairs. First, just to make sure that they fire because sometimes I get lemons. I wanna make sure that I didn't get a lemon today. All right, performance seems pretty confident out of the box. 
Uh, it's not shooting, um, uh, it's not shooting too terribly hard. I could guess about 70 FPS, but that's pretty normal. But that's a good thing, because that means that it'll have the same spring as other blasters. Now we're gonna stress it out. So I've got a 30 drum full of a whole bunch of random waffle head darts of varying ages and varying levels of quality to see how it handles older darts. I am going to go fast with this because it's 30 rounds, so I'm probably going to shoot this left-handed. This is the only time you're going to see me shoot this blaster left-handed. And it failed to fire the first dart. Not very promising, but is something wrong with the dart? That's the first thing I want to check. Make sure that there's no holes in it. Yeah, it's a solid dart. So, uh, alright, that's not good. What the heck? Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> no. So we're back. Now it's time for the review. Starting off with the design, this thing looks absolutely hilarious. I cannot grasp the whole idea of this blaster or get over it. This snakehead thing on the front simultaneously looks super cool and super hilarious next to the rest of this blaster because it simultaneously matches really well and doesn't match anything at all. The whole scale pattern texture is actually part of the shell that's been pushed in. The outside is matte plastic while the inside is glossy, so it gives it this super cool texture that you really got to see in person to understand how nice it actually looks. The rest of the blaster outside of the obvious part actually looks like a pretty competent sniper rifle. You have the main body here, the stock back here, and the grip. Ah uh, yeah, there's ergonomics too, let's talk about those. This grip, I'm gonna say it, super unforgiving. Very, very unforgiving to large hands. Because you have this thumb hole stock here, which barely even counts as a thumb hole stock because it's not long enough to be used as stock. I mean, look at this. Look at this, all this space, come on. And plus, it is a square grip. It's the most square grip in the history of square grips. The front is just flat. No texturing at all. Although the transitions between this kind of 45 degree angle here and the front and the side is smooth. It's smooth and filleted, so it does work. The back is also very smooth and filleted, so the grip itself is actually quite comfortable on your hands, especially because your fingers kind of arc in that sort of octagon shape anyways, please focus. So my fingers just kind of fit onto the shell naturally, despite the ridiculous appearance. I'm not sure how they pulled that off, but they did. As for the foregrip, because yes, this blaster has a foregrip, that is this entire black segment right here, and it is very forgiving on your hands. It's not too big, but it's also not too small. There's just the right amount of space for you to get your whole hand on there, and it feels very nice to hold. Whether or not you're using... <sighs> yeah, we gotta talk about the bipod. This is not a bipod. I don't count it as a bipod. You're never gonna use this as a bipod. It's literally just two little plastic sticks. There's no texturing in there whatsoever. It feels super flimsy and cheap. It, it like, it, look at this. It's terrible. Although it does technically hold its shape if you leave it and it clicks into position very nicely. Listen, listen to this, listen. Did you hear that? That was a click. That was a magnetic click. They're magnetic! At least I think they are. But this this bipod is terrible. Please do not use this bipod if you're actually going to use this plaster. That is my only uh, real legitimate true complaint is that this bipod does not match the quality of the rest of the whole blaster. Uh, let's talk about the magazine and the functionality real quick. So this blaster is essentially a carbon copy of the Fortnite BASRL with one very important difference. This one doesn't have slam fire. Why is that a big deal? Because slam fire is kind of what the BASRL is known for. And they took that one redeeming feature away, so now this blaster just became a lot more awkward. Uh, one extra thing that I'm not sure why I haven't brought up is that there are no tactical rails or attachment points on this at all. Even though for some reason they put this in place with like this gap here, it looks like this whole barrel should be a tack rail or a barrel attachment, but it isn't. 
In fact, in all honesty, this is kind of just a watered down version of the BASRL with less functionality, which is really sad. And you kind of already saw the firing demo, it shoots okay. And that problem with the 30 drum is actually a problem with all the drums that I tried to put it in, but only the drums. I don't know what, what the drums have to do with any of this, but for some reason this blaster really doesn't like having drums in it. The 25, 30, 35, and 50 drum all had the same problem where they wouldn't fire. However, every single standard type of magazine I tried worked flawlessly, so uh, yeah. But overall, coming from a snake nerd and coming from a guy who really likes sniper rifles, what do I think of this? Um, I like this. I like it. This thing obviously doesn't offer anything new in the functional department, but just like the the visual appeal of using a blaster that looks like this, yeah, it got me hooked and I'm pretty happy with it. It does everything that I'm trying to do and it was actually a little bit better than I was thinking it was gonna be because Roblox blasters are notorious for being very cheap. But 110%, this is not made for everybody. This blaster is pretty expensive for what it's trying to do, and if you really don't care about the snake portion, but you want an elite dart firing sniper rifle for relatively cheap, I would say pass this and get a Fortnite BASRL instead. It's like $10 cheaper and is pretty much the exact same thing, but better in just about every single way, if only by a little bit. But for the rest of you who already know what this is going to do and you're okay with that and you just, you're like me, you really like snakes, you really like that muzzle piece, or you want to do something with this like a paint job, which is also what I plan on doing in the future and one of the other reasons why I didn't put the other bolt on, then go for it. The blaster works. It's just kind of expensive and the bipod is a hilarious joke. So with that said, subscribe to this channel if you're new, like the video, enjoy it, comment down below what do you think of this blaster or any blaster you'd like me to reveal in the future, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. I'm gonna shut up now.